Who's calling me right now? Finish it. Plant her foot. Slipped into this crack. What's it? That's why you don't do crack, kids. Come on. Dig wow. deep. Dig deep. Uh, holy crap. What's up guys? We're back here with another video and today it's a new day and it's a new gym. We got beautiful Mount Baldy right behind us. Man, life is good. You know, I'm thankful that I woke up today. We woke up early, bro. We're running off five hours of sleep, a cup of coffee and HS, which is the Holy Spirit. Basically, I took Monday through Friday off from the gym all last week. I just had some, some mental things I, I wanted to focus on. So I took five days off from the gym, went to the gym yesterday, and now we're back at the gym shooting a video, doing what I love. But anyways, I have a Bible verse because I don't know, I, I don't have a gym partner. So this Bible verse kind of relates to having a gym partner. So the, the verse is Proverbs 27, 17, and it says, as iron sharpens iron, one person sharpens another. It's short and sweet, it's simple, but there's so much truth to it, you know? You need a community of people that are gonna push you to be better than what you think you're capable of, you know? You need to surround yourself with others that are going to push you to be better than you think you are and hold you accountable. But anyways, it's squat day, so let's go get this workout in, baby. Let's go. And we got the new drip on. Woo, woo. Sponsor me, Young LA. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I fell in love. Oh, then I fell in love. You know that sink could really weigh a ton. I was down on my back. Ain't nobody ever kind of show me love. So I went and found that love from above. Yeah. Oh, I fell in love. Oh, then I fell in love. You know that sink could really weigh a ton. Yeah, buddy. Bro, just hit my whole set right there. That's, that's Zach's top set right there. <laughs> and you pause the last row. So, so iron sharpens iron. Like for example, me and Zach, I make him a program and I push him in the gym and he pushes me to film these videos. This lighting though is like kind of vibes. Dude, yeah, I've... Shout out Rancho. Gyms that are in a mall yeah. are always a vibe. I've only been, this is my second one I've been to. The first one was 24 hour um, down in San Diego. Mm. That one was fire, dude. So we're hitting a triple today and that's all we have. No three by three, no four by three, just one by three. Having one set allows you to focus on solely that one set, you know, really take your time getting the warm ups in and it leaves room for like a heavier warm up. You still don't want to over fatigue yourself on your warm ups, but it, it leaves a little leeway. Dude, what do you think creatine tastes like? Hydrate. It, tastes like it kind of like. It's just powdery, but like it's just like chalky. So yeah, no yeah. It. it gives my pure water like a, yeah. a little bit of a chalky flavor. Yeah, like, I kind of like that though. Yeah. You seen those memes of like, uh, I didn't know gyms were giving out creatine for free, and it was like the chalk bowl. <laughs> yeah, we can. I did PR a week ago or something. I've never hit four plates before, but then I did. I'm nervous. If the weight doesn't scare you, you gotta add some weight. Not to the point where it's like PR or ER, at least not every day. But if the weight doesn't scare you, how are you ever gonna face your fears? If you can't face a little weight.
on program we have like three by 12 on leg extensions, but we're working up to a top set. And the top set is gonna be filled with sets till failure, multiple drop sets, basically just pain. Like if, if you spelled it without the S. I'm so dumb. <sighs> Woo! It's burning, it's burning. So the only difference between me and Tom Platts is that he wanted it more. <laughs> squat that can do anything. There's a reason people don't squat. It's hard. It's hard. People don't want what's hard. They want what's easy, what looks showy. Forget about it. The same thing in life is the same thing here. If you can do this, you can do anything. Anything. Finish it. Who's calling me right now? Finish it. You're not getting out of this. Come on. Come on, five more. Who's calling me right now? <laughs> all right, one more. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Come on. Come on, hold. Control it. That's all you. Hold it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. And don't just let it fall, fight it all the way down. Nice, good, nice and slow. <laughs> good work, good work. Before you get to the gym, you have to promise yourself that you are not going to go home a loser and you will fight to the death to maintain your promise to yourself. I would rather die. Give me like 30 seconds. Make sure you're resting in between each leg. It's optimal. All right, come on. What leg did I just do? That's all I had. Bro, my, my planter foot slipped into this crack. That's why you don't do crack, kids. My, my foot slipped into the crack uh, mid-set. I'm glad we're only doing one of those, though. I'm not excited. You're excited, bro. No. Change that mindset. Okay. I'm so excited. Let's go, baby. That's lightweight. I don't know why I always clap my hands before I start talking. It's funny. We finished today's workout. We had to cut it a wee little bit short. We had to help Zach's family move his big ass fridge. Dude, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, dude. That was, it, that was kind of close. We use weightlifting straps. Not your typical ones that you see at the gym. This is how we were walking, carrying this thing. We we're like, oh, get it up, get it up, get it up. And we were just like yelling at each other and stuff. It was a good time, good, grand old time. But thank you guys for tuning in for another video. Every single viewer that watches my videos, I really appreciate it. I love you guys, okay? I'm here, my goal is to maybe educate others, help get others into the gym and bring others closer to God. Those are my goals. So all my love to you on this, 
on the, on the other side of this camera, okay? Thank you guys. Now that our backs got broke, it's time to sleep, eat, but we'll catch you guys next Wednesday. Peace.